go over our dumbbell reverse fly. So in a lot of cases, you may see a dumbbell reverse fly on a bench, like an incline bench supported. That's totally fine, that's a different movement. The way we're gonna do it today is we're just gonna be in a hip hinge position for our bent position. So get started, grab your dumbbells. You're gonna want them to be relatively light. We're trying to focus on our rear delt here. This is not a large muscle group, so we can't move a lot of weight. If we're going way too heavy, our form is gonna break down very quickly and we may not be doing the movement the way we want to. So these are eight pound dumbbells. We're gonna drop into our hip hinge. And think about the opposite of a chest fly. So we're coming out, kind of like you're flying wings. So we pull our arms, fly. Maintaining that hip hinge, trying to get that tension on our shoulders. Back of our shoulders, our rear delts. There you have it, our dumbbell reverse fly. 